welcome to part two of our shooting game. This is Abraham from SayWeb.com. Today we are importing a target and the target will be moving on stage. The news is no animation on the timeline. The uh, all animation will be generated by action script inside of the movie clip. For this we are importing some vector art. Why vector? Well, Vectors are a result of a formula, while PNGs, BMPs, JPEGs, they are uh, bitmaps. So vectors, they don't lose quality when you shrink, when you stretch, and uh, far more um, recommended for what you plan to do here. These planes will be moving along the stage. Uh, I want to place them where I want, and uh, I thought that vectors better for this, let's convert it to a symbol. I'll be exporting the class just in case, I don't know, I most likely will not need it, it doesn't cost anything. And there we are, we have a plane on stage and uh, pretty, mu pretty much what uh, we needed to do till now. And there we go, we rotate, we stretch, we shrink. Uh, our plane is taking shape. I plan to throw this, these planes into towers. It's an educational game, so next time somebody starts throwing planes at towers, we shoot the plane before it hits the tower. That's the purpose of our game, an educational game for the people out there. Now, this is a scrap layer. I won't be using this layer just to generate the animation. It's a fantastic. Uh, feature that Flash has. I'm creating an animation. It's going to be a classic plane. Please uh, make a point of making it classic because this is won't work with the name if we make a regular motion twin. See, it goes back and forth, uh, left and right. Now let's select the first frame. Let's select the last frame. Let's right click and it will give us the option to export this animation action script. There we go, right click and copy motion. Copy motion will create the code and place it on the clipboard. Let's give a name. Now this prompt will only show on the classic twin and we're ready to go. Let's delete this uh, layer. We don't need the layer anymore. We just created the layer for the sake of getting the code into the clipboard. Let's open the library. Let's be editing the plane inside of the movie clip. Before I do anything, I'll just place this in the center so we are more accurate, we are more precise. And let's always name layers. This layer contains the vector art, the airplane, and the second layer is going to be our action script layer. Where is the action script coming from? It's already on the clipboard. All I have to do is open the window F9 or window action script as you see now. And let's paste and uh, Flash creates the whole code. It could be a far more complex animation. Let's paste and now each instance of this airplane is going to have the same movement. Well, I mean, until now it was possible to do this just adding the animation into the timeline. The thing is, we want to add some interactivity here, meaning that we we'll have planes flying across the stage. The player has to shoot the plane before the plane hits the tower. So I'm going to add an event listener to the motion, to the animation. I want to know if the animation finishes, meaning that the player did not shoot the plane. We want to call a function that executes all the steps of a loss, meaning that the plane will have to explode, we have to score that the uh, player lost a life, and uh, events like that. For this, I'm adding the motion event. You know what? Listen if the animation succeeds in going all the way until the end, meaning that the plane went from one side of the stage until the end of the stage, I want you to fire such and such function. We did not create yet, we'll be creating this function in a second. 
but for this we will need to import the motion event it's just like any other event like clicking a button you just wait until the animation finishes this is more or less bare bones of our game and needless to say we'll be adding an explosion when the plane hits the tower we'll be adding some sound during the flight during the explosion during the shooting but that's the logic we have several instances of a movie clip we'll be flying on stage we have a crosshair which is the replacement of the pointer the mouse pointer and we'll be shooting the planes if the plane hit the tower we score that uh, we lost a life or it's an explosion if not we add some points to our uh, scoreboard and this is an event listener this is the event listener at the end of the code the code is generated by flash we didn't do much uh, and uh, actually you can go through the code and understand what's going on there's something called the animator class on the Adobe website they have extensive uh, uh, explanations if you are lucky enough to understand what they wrote there they do try to explain what the animator class is and uh, this we'll call a function if animation succeeds meaning that the plane fetch reach the tower it was going to call the function that we just named hurt player something that we create is not in blue everything that's blue is a reserved word everything that's in black is something that we created and uh, pretty much it let's create our function see web currently has 9,000 unique visitors every month thank you guys they come to watch tutorials we have sponsors the tutorials are free uh, they come for the extensively documented source code yes you can copy you can paste you can customize it's easy to understand it's easy to use You're welcome to join we have a newsletter it's free you don't collect any personal information and you get notices on the email every time we have a new tutorial uh, we don't only do action script we also been doing reviews lately welcome to come welcome to join all right so if right now for the meanwhile eventually we'll be adding sound we'll be adding explosions so for the meanwhile if the animation reaches the end all we have to do we move this instance from stage we don't want it anymore uh, uh, our plane it has already finished is its career and it's about to be removed from the stage eventually as a right here let me add some stuff later on and let's test the animation thanks for watching my tutorial uh, if you have questions think about the others post it on the website I reply in general I reply you can check and uh, thanks again for watching and see you on part 3 of this uh, shooting game thank you very much